Hello everybody, my name is Jeff and I am Balding. And welcome to my next tutorial series here in the Age of Engineering. We're going to be going over Industrial Craft 2 and Blast Furnace Automation. And honestly, I couldn't find any really good quick guides on how to automate this process. So don't worry, I got a good one for you. And it's cheap. I used to always create like 65 of those like universal fluid cell things. And I had those like bouncing back and forth between the compressor and the blast furnace. But no, this is 2021 and I'm far smarter than before. And so you will be. So yeah, it's all like Donkey Kong. From here, our setup is going to go as follows. And I'm doing this in creative because I'm lazy. You're going to throw your compressor down and then you're going to want your electric heater a little bit to the side here behind it followed by a blast furnace so that the orange pieces are touching throw the electric sorting machine in the middle and then an item buffer here to the south side that's at least what we're going to need to start from here we're going to want to connect to a power source the compressor the electric sorting machine and the electric heater. From there, we should notice that our blast furnace starts heating up. Now, our first step from here is gonna to be to take a universal fluid cell. We're gonna to have to create only one in this setup and run over to your electric sorting machine. And you're gonna see that it has like different faces to it. So north, south, east, west, there's down and up. I always put my default to up just because there's a cable there. Put your universal fluid cell into whatever direction that your compressor is facing. So in this case, it's actually west. So we want the universal fluid cell facing west. From there, we can actually throw it into the compressor and then tell it to have its output go into the blast furnace. So to the east is gonna be this filled up universal fluid cell. So once this finishes here, boom city, throw it into here on the east side. And we can actually just like add this to the blast furnace at this point. You can also throw in some iron. Make sure that you have coils into your electric heater. So all of this should start working here. Once this heat reaches maximum, then we're going to actually start seeing this process get finished. So I'm actually going to return once we have our first steel. Haha, -ha, just kidding. What I'm actually going to do at this point is set our ejector upgrades. So if you shift right click with an ejector upgrade, it says automatically output to the east side. We're going to want to throw that into your compressor and then do the exact opposite. Have an ejector upgrade set in your blast furnace to eject into the west side. And actually what we'll see is now our universal fluid cell is going to start bouncing back and forth between the blast furnace and the compressor. So yes, this is about done. Bam. And it already deposited and jumped back in here for another round. Like, that's how awesome this setup is. So yes, now I will actually return once we get a piece of steel. Perfecto el mundo. Our first piece of steel is finished. So from there, it will actually deposit into the electric sorting machine. Its inventory is actually a little bit under where the east face is. It's a little bit hidden, so I know that can be confusing. So what we actually want it to do is to be on the white list for the south side. So it deposits into our item buffer. It deposited into blue. So what we're gonna do is on its blue faces, set down a couple drawers, set an injector upgrade right into that, and bada beam, bada boom. This setup is actually complete. There's nothing else that you have to do to it. However, if you wanna be a little cheeky and not make yourself another compressor for other stuff, what you can do as well is put a small chest right behind the electric sorting machine. And for instance, mixed metal ingot. Once this is all finished, we're just gonna find it within the internal storage of the electric sorting machine and then place it onto the north side as shown in here. And boom, it's found right into the chest. So just like that, you guys are off to automation. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Jeff and I'm Balding.